Peace everybody, back with another video. This is breaking news. Ed Asner, MTMS, and Lou Grant star dead at 91. Yes, so as you can see here, Ed Asner has passed away at the age of 91. Ed Asner, one of the most prolific actors to ever have done it, has died. Yes, so Ed, Ed Asner was one of the most prolific actors to ever have it done and he has died his reps confirmed to TMZ that EA passed away Sunday surrounded by family no other details about the circumstances of his death have emerged so yeah he, he's on um, representatives did cur did confirm to TMZ that Ed Asner has passed away sir on Sunday surrounded by his family there are no other details about circumstances of his death have emerged the family issued a statement saying we are sorry to say that our beloved Pat tricked Patriots passed away this morning peacefully words cannot express the sadness we feel with a kiss on your head. Good night, Dad. We love you. Yes, the family did issue a statement saying that we are sorry to say that our beloved Patriarch passed away this morning. So it was peacefully, peacefully. Um, those words cannot express the sadness we feel with a kiss on your head. Good night, Dad. We love you. So that's what the family had um, wrote the statement. Ed was a veteran actor having gotten his start in showbiz way back in the 50s and finding critical success in a recurring role with the Mary Tyler Moore show by playing Lou Grant, Mary's TV station boss. He starred in 166 episodes of the series for seven long years. Ed, yes, I was a veteran actor, having gotten his start in showbiz way back in the 50s, and finding critical success in a recurring role with the Mary Tyler Moore show. He played Lou Grant, Mary's TV station boss. He did star in over 166 episodes of the series, and it was for seven long years. And here's the video, which I will not play because I know how TMZ are. He even got his own spinoff out of it with a show called Lou Grant, which ran for nearly as long. And of course, Ed took on the lead role there for over a hundred episodes. He got, he's the most decorated male actor when it comes to primetime. Emmys, the guy won five alone for his portrayal of Lou Grant and two others for different roles in other TV shows. So yeah, he did get his own spinoff after the Mary Tyler Moore because they were ending. So he got his own show called Lou Grant, which ran for nearly as long, and of course, Ed took on the lead role there for over a hundred episodes. So he's he was doing good for all those episodes. Um, he's the most decorated male actor when it comes to prime time. Emmys, the guy won five alone for his portrayal of Lou Grant. Lou Grant was a decorated series in and of itself, racking up 13 Emmys and Golden Globes to along the way. It was actually the third spin-off of TMTMS and perhaps the most successful. Yes, yeah, so Lou Grant was a decorated series in and of itself, so it did rack up 13 Emmys and Golden Globes to along the way as well. And here's the script of uh, the video of it of Mary Tyler Moore's show as you can see here or Lou Grant. 
Other notable TV series he was involved in, which recurring appearances, The Bronx Zoo, The Tales of Rosie O'Donnell, Hearts of Fire, Thunder Alley, The Closure, Center of the Universe, and others. His voice acting career is actually even more impressive, taking off in the 90s and beyond. So yeah, so he has been in other reoccurring appearances as well of all the names I just had named, like the, the Bronx Zoo, The Trials of Rosie O'Neill, Hearts of Fire, Thunder Alley, The Closure, Center of the Universe, and others. Uh, his voice acting career was actually even more impressive, so he had a more impressive uh, acting career. Of course, Ed is also quite famous for his role in Roots, for which he won an award as well. So yeah, Roots was another one that he was in. Um, he won an award for that one. But even for brief roles, the dude literally touched just about every major television series that was out at the time, including shows like The Fugitive, Iron Horse, Mission Impossible, The FBI, Ironside, Mod Squad, Rich Man, Poor Man, Hawaii Five O, Police Story, Insight, Tender is the Night, American Playhouse, Fish Police, Roseanne, Mad About You, Ask Harriet, The Closure, Hercules, The X Files, ER, CSI, New York, and more. So yeah, and all those um, TV series, he was in all of those as well and here's another video of him he's lent his talents to shows like Batman the animated series Superman the animated series Animaniacs Freakazoid Captain Planet Max Steel Zorro Jumanji Spider-Man the animated series, Gargoyles, The Simpsons, The Cleveland Show, and several more over the years. He even played the lead voice of Carl Fre Fredrickson in Disney's classic Pixar Flick Up. Flick, oh, was, oh, Pixar Flick called Up. So that just an idea of how far and wide his work is known. Yes, yeah, so he has done a lot of a lot of talented things in his life uh, with all the names that are in here. Ed's movie work was just as impressive. He's been in flicks like John Wayne's El Dorado, Elf, The Gathering. JFK, O'Hara's Wife, Hard Rain, The Christmas Star, Gus, The Fantics, Basil, The Bachelor, The Animal, Gigantic, Saving Christmas, Faith, Hope, and Love, Too Big to Fail, Let's Go, and dozens and dozens more. So yeah, he's been in a lot of movies that he has given his talent to here's one of the Christmas videos as you can see here as been a part of so many iconic shows and movies it's difficult to even attempt to list all of them all in all the guy has 416 acting credits to his name including stuff that's still being worked on right now for future release. So yeah, he had like a lot of acting um, credits to his name, all 416 acting credits to his name, including stuff that's still, work, still being worked on right now for future release. So we don't know what the future release is gonna be with him in it. And this is the last time um, TMZ saw him it was January 31st, 2019. So that was the last time they saw him. 
The last time we saw it in person, he was a jovial and nice as ever, happily singing autographs and chatting it up with us while being pushed in a chair. That's just the kind of guy he was. Yeah, so that was the last time they saw him during that time. He was 91 I am RIP, so yeah, so he was 91 years old when he passed away. And um, so that was the last time that he got for TMZ to be gotten around to see him, but my condolences goes to his family. May they have a lot of love around them at this difficult time. Please leave your comments below. I am out.